today, Kevin and I are going on an adventure, kind of. Um, not, is it a fun, not adventure? a fun adventure? It's not a fun I adventure, this, even though you'll get something good out I of it. I hate this process. <laughs> what process is he talking about? I've um, done it like three times in the past year. Yeah. Um, Kevin's going to look for another car. Um, we. It's so funny. We just paid his car off last week. Was it last week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we paid the car off and then we're going to turn around and we're going to get another one. Uh, this, uh, this car that he has is a 2010. So we're going to look for something newer and we're used to having, I know Esther C is probably pulling her hair because she follows Dave Ramsey and she's probably like, no, you just made it off. But um, we are used to having, uh, this car payment was two forty one forty five dollars every single month. So we are used to paying that, that car payment anyway. So if we can get something for that amount or even a little less, then we're fine with it. It's, you know, we're, we're used to, to doing this. And I guess I told, um, was telling Kevin, it's, it's just like people who lease a car. I, maybe it was Ashley I was telling. It's like people who lease a car, you know, they, they always have a car payment. So this does not bother me at all. Um, but I figured that I would, I'm going to try to take you with us and show you the cars that we're looking at. I don't know how awkward it's going to be with salespeople or whatever, but if they, you know, I'll just, I'll see what I can do and, and I'll show you what Kevin's looking at and um, then we'll see if he ends up getting anything today. He's interested, um, what we did first is uh, we looked at cars online. So that's the first thing I would recommend for anybody looking for a car, no matter what age you are. If you're 16 years old looking at cars uh, and, and if you're looking at, at a car lot, you need to, to be looking, uh, or any place else, you need to look online to see what's available for you. Don't just show up at a car lot and not know what they have. You need to look at what they have, you need to see prices and all that. Then we, um, we called the bank and we got pre-approval for another loan and uh, we they emailed us a letter uh, saying what we were pre-approved for and we have that printout I have it in my purse uh, so that if we do find something we'll have it for the car lot so uh, that looks like there's a lot of cars over there no, 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 no. Sometimes when they're, um, there's a lot of cars when we're stopped over here. Sometimes when they're paving their car lot, they'll move them oh, all yeah, somewhere could else. Very well could be they might be paving or something. It's about to be coming back over here. Yeah, hopefully they won't be paving at the one we're going to. Um, so anyway, I will try to show you around uh, once we get there and hopefully you enjoy this type of thing. Okay, we're getting close. I wanted to show you where we're going. In this building, it's, it is a really cool building. Oh, we're not going to that building? <laughs> oh. We're going next door. We'll, we'll drive next to it. You'll be able to see it, I think. It's always been a pretty cool building, though. It's been there for as long as I can remember. I'm pointing up at the sky. Sorry, guys. What's the name of this place? Paul, Paul Miller? Yeah. Paul Miller. And it is a really cool building. Oh, I see. There's a bunch of cars over there. Is that where we're going? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the front of the building that I told you was really cool. This is their main building, the Paul Miller Ford building, and it's just shaped really odd. But we're coming over here to the Mazda, the Mazda side, and these are, ooh, I like that uh, yellow one. That's a, yeah, that's a nice one. So we're here at the uh, Paul Miller Mazda, and this is off New Circle Road in Lexington, if you're curious. There's a golf cars by Dever across the street. I do. We were looking for a 626 and they were so expensive it's like well, no there was no way, way. Yeah. yeah there's a kids area over here where you can watch tv and they have a, a cart with snacks on it and there's a coffee bar over here okay this is the white one that he's looking at this is the first one that 
This is the first one. It's a uh, and it's sand, beige, off white, vanilla. Okay, here's the other one that he's looking at. There's what in it? There's 30 cents. There's 30 cents. <laughs> So this one's like a silver color. And this one's like, I think like a thousand dollars Okay, so we're gonna test drive this one first. And um, Kevin's just looking around it. He really likes this one more than the gray just because the gray one's a thousand dollars more just for a, it's for a better uh, stereo system and for a sunroof and we don't care about that so. So he thinks he wants to look at this one. The back seat has a lot of space. And there's, it, this is just like his car. This uh, has a cup holder. And, uh, but it looks like this is bigger than what he has right now. Um, but this is how it looks in the inside, in the front. So he's looking in the trunk right now. Let me kind of go up through this, yep. and I do need to get a copy of the driver's license okay. before we take off. Yep. Okay. Uh, go ahead and put your foot on the brake and tap on that. That's different. <laughs> okay. Now, what you have is command and control. Okay, down here, your screen is touch screen if you're going going nine miles an hour or less. Right. But after that, it cuts off. Right. Makes it out for safety. Uh, as far as your touch screen is concerned, you've got FM1, FM2 up here at the end screen. Uh, also, your Bluetooth and this to right. set up and such. This is actually going to do the same thing. Uh, you have your phone area for your Bluetooth setup. Right. Also, your automated 911 call. If you're in an accident, then you'll be able to call 911 for you and get the location of the outside. This one does not have an app. You right. go with navigation if you want for about a $400 app. Your setup area. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid New Circle too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, New Circle is usually where people from out of town that don't know how to drive meet people from in town. Right, exactly. Oh, shit. Go up Fortune. And we'll tell you where that little yeah. chance to go on the phone with that. Hey, this clicker's not as loud as my other phone. No, thank goodness. <laughs> So we test drove this one, and we actually test drove this one because this one has like 22,000 miles. This one only has like 6,000 miles. So, um, so Kevin's thinking about it. So Kevin ended up buying the uh, Mazda 6, and this is how it looks. And I'll show you the, um, I'll let you know the price and all that when we that we paid when we go inside. Um, we did have a down payment, but I'll talk to you about all that. Uh, um when we get inside but we just got home and so he's going to take the stuff out of his car and put it in this car okay so this is the trunk and they the the colors of truck gonna buy. um they they have carpeted floor mats in there already and they also came with these uh the plastic ones so you can put in during the winter time That'll be really nice for when you get all that uh, ice. Yeah. Um, license plate cover. Oh. I don't know what that is. that I looks like it looks like it's for your license plate. I have no That's idea. what it looks like. It is. I don't have any clue. So here's his his old car. This is the Mazda three, and you can tell it's a it's an awesome car. It's just uh, it's a little smaller, and it's filthy right now because they're doing all this, that road work. And um, and uh, it's it's just filthy because of the road work around here. But that's the Mazda three, and then the Mazda six is just it's just longer. It's a longer, bigger car, um, and this has a lot more on it. But we'll show you all the stuff on the inside. I should probably show you his old car. Um, this is how the Mazda three looks on the inside, and uh, so that you'll be able to compare when I show you the other one. This is the Mazda 3. 
and the radio and all that that we're used to. And this is the center. And then in just a little bit, we'll show you the Mazda 6. I couldn't really talk outside because there's so much noise, but you saw where I uh, unlocked the door, opened the door without uh, having my keys out. The keys can actually be in your pocket. It does have buttons to uh, you know, lock, unlock, and then you can open your trunk, and then uh, of course you got the panic button. But generally, just stick them in your pocket. You push the little button on the outside of the door twice, and it um, it unlocks the door. Sorry, I've got the air on because it's hot. Um, yeah, it's um, 88 degrees is what it says, although I think it's hotter. Uh, but anyway, you push the button twice, it beeps at you, and um, and you open the door. You can see the instrument panel there. The blue, I actually took it to the service places. I didn't know what it was. The blue is just saying that it's not uh, up to temperature yet, so they say once it reaches temperature, it goes off. Not that big a deal. Um, you got your tachometer, you got your speedometer, and then you've got your information panel. It always shows the outside temperature. Let me see if I can get it better. Yeah, it always shows the outside temperature, but then you can scroll up and it shows the uh, how many miles you went and how much gas you have. But if you scroll up on the info button, you can see the, your average miles per gallon, your current miles per gallon, which I'm not driving, so you can't see, um, and then your average miles per hour, and then your range, how many miles you have until you need to you're out of gas. And then you got this little trip button up here that you push to reset your your trip number see it's trip a right now and then if you push it again it'll be trip b and then you push again and put trip a and you hold it down and it reset back to zero so anyway that's kind of the console your steering wheel is pretty straightforward you've got your uh, volume up and down turn it to where you can see it straight up um, you get your volume up and down your info that's what i was pushing to change the whole display this is your channel up and down on your on your um, stereo. It also changes your CD tracks or MP3 tracks if you're playing MP3. Um, this is your push. This and your car will start talking to you, uh, wanting to know um, you know what you want to do. It's voice voice control car. You can make phone calls. You can change channels. All kinds of different stuff. You can search for music if you're listening to like a uh, um, a, a bunch of MP3 files. You can search for those. Um, not sure what else it'll do. It does a bunch. Um, then you have um, make a call to answer a call and then to hang up a call and then you have your cruise control on off um, set plus or minus while you're driving you push it one or the other to set it and then you go plus or minus if you want to increase or decrease your speed and then cancel if you're driving you want to cancel it real quick like you need to slow down and then resume to hit to start back up again of course you got your horn when you push this in um, the controls on the side of the door this is your mirrors um, you can turn it like this to get your left mirror and like that to get your right mirror this is your door locks you can tell it, uh, i mean the windows you can tell it not to not to be able to nobody else can roll their windows up and down and then you've got um, your lock and unlock and then you've got the four windows here for that you can roll up and down on your own and the uh, windows the driver's side is automatic i'm not sure about the passenger let me see yeah it's automatic it's full roll up roll down automatically Let's see the back they are automatic as well. Well, that one was. Okay, so the back one is, but not the not the um, the back passenger side is, but not the back back driver side. That's odd. And then, of course, you've got your um, stereo controls. Let me blow that up so it's not blowing right across here. Um, this is not your stereo, your uh, air conditioner controls. You've got auto, which if you push this, it'll try to get to this temperature as quickly as possible. And if I push it now, it'll it'll really uh, turn the air up. Let me see. And then I turn the fan back down there. Um, you, you, if you saw, you watched that really go up fast. Um, then it, the, it's telling you the passenger airbags off because nobody's sitting over there. And then you've got um, this is your push on and off, and this is your control for. Um, you can either have it automatic for it's dual control, so I can have drivers and, and passenger side 
um, air and heat so they're separate so if you want to separately you push uh, um, the dual and it'll um, you can adjust your temperature separately um, there's your clock right there this is controls for your of course you got your gear shift and this is the um, like a different control for your stereo it's um, it's all a joystick you rotate it and you push it um, of course I'm telling it to do weird stuff um, but you can go to audio um, what is it nav which I don't have in this car I don't have navigation this says back but it doesn't actually do anything it doesn't push down I don't know if it's stuck down oh it does it's just really really stiff there we go I hadn't uh, I'd never pushed it down hard enough I bet you anything something spilled in there at some point now it looked like it looks like something might be down in there but anyway I'm not too stressed about it. this one works so it doesn't matter um, and then you've got setup and then you've got phone and like I said you control this by um, by rotating it around and then I, I can show you on the screen um, see how it's moving side to side I'm turning the knob and then if I want to select FM you just push F and then uh, the stereo controls uh, hold on, let me turn this down now to work oh and you can also turn these vents off and on um, your hazard lights and then you can adjust these side to side up and down um, your CD slots right here you can eject your CD there. It's an HD radio. You got audio, your phone, navigation if it has it, your on off and your volume. And then you've got your setup and the seek forward and backwards. And this is your tune knob. And then um, you, you heard the stereo. I'm not gonna go through the stereo too much. So yeah, it's a pretty nice car. I really like it. Um, it's got it's good storage here too. Got a bunch of junk in there right now. And this also slides, um, forward if you if you want your arm a little closer like like me I like mine up further so I'll leave it I usually leave it up and it does have a light interior it's kind of a beigey color it has um, cup holders in the back no sunroof which I'm glad of because I don't like um, sunroof moon roofs um, this is I don't know if I can get it real good but you got a sunglass holder right here and then you've got your map lights of course um, up there so so yeah i really really like it um can't think of anything else it is fully bluetooth for your phone to where you can make hands-free calls um i don't have my phone out here but but it does make phone, uh, bluetooth calls um so yeah yeah i really enjoy it so far it drives really really smooth uh full power seats in the front i mean the driver's side is um six-way power seats and um and then it's got this figure one i actually uh when I bought it, it came with, I think Tammy showed you, it comes with um, the cloth formats, the formats that are the, fa the carpet formats, but in the back, in the trunk, it also has um, four of the plastic ones, the rubberized ones that are like uh, like bowls almost. So if you're in the winter time, you can put those in and it won't, uh, it won't leak out snow and dirt and stuff like that. So when it gets nasty, you can put those in. So that's, that's really good. Uh, the other one I looked at did not come with those. This one just happened. I don't know if they bought them extra and they, and they're just including them or what. So I told you, I would tell you how much the car cost. Uh, but Kevin and I don't mind sharing that with you. The price was 18, uh, $18,319 and 81 cents. And then you have taxes and then you have the registration fee. So the total for all of that was $19,978, but we put down $5,000. So that means uh, that we only paid, we only financed $14,978. So our monthly payments on the car will be $229.36 a month. Uh, which is less than his last car payment. His last car payment was two forty one forty five. So we're actually paying, you know, about fifteen dollars less, something like that. Uh, and our first payment will be due July twentieth. So um, you know that'll give you some idea if you're looking for a car. Uh, this is how much it's going to cost. They they really do not haggle with you at all, and they expect you. To, you know, back in when kevin and i first started buying cars they would negotiate all of this and they just don't do that anymore so uh this is about how much it's going to cost you so i hope you enjoyed this video um getting to see kevin's new car and we'll catch you next time